What is this? Oh, you know what it is. Sierra Beach! <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It was really beautiful. <laughs> we bought too many games! Now we gotta play them all. So what about the Steam Train? Choo choo! Oh, welcome everybody welcome. to King's Quest V. This is a really special game for you, Dan. It really is. Let's let's watch the introduction and then we'll learn more. Oh. Oh god, dude, I love Dan stuff like this. Like medieval stuff when I was a kid and, and wizards dude, I and stuff. I still such. love medieval stuff. Me too, me too. I love middle evil. Oh, and here is a, an evil wizard, speaking of which. Um So yeah, that's our castle. We're uh, we're King Graham, the king of Daventry. And inside that castle is our family. Uh, Can I just say that the wizard looks like he is wearing a slanket? <laughs> he does. <laughs> right off the bat. It's like me when I animate. I'm just like, yeah. I got a slanket. Yeah, thank you. Is that different than a Snuggie? Uh, they are technically the same thing, but different brands. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Well, here we are just wandering nicely through the woods, like just having a pleasant stroll. Completely unaware that our family was just sucked into a wizard vortex. Can I just say that I have never played this game, but it happens to be the favorite game of my wife, my beautiful wife Holly. She oh. loves this game to death. Yeah. And the one thing I've always, it's always ba baffled me about it is, he's supposed to be a king, right? Right. Why does he look like Robin Hood? Oh, because he's a king of the people. He's like, not a douchey, like king who's like, oh, I would decree, fuck you. So no crown. No, like he does wear a crown when he's in his like throne chambers, but like when he's out and about, he dresses like a peasant. To, so like he can like blend in with the peeps. Seems like they're kind of like, they're not really stereotyping to their roles. Like, I mean, the wizard's wearing a slanket. He's dressed as like Peter Pan. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> da, 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 da. Huh? My castle, <laughs> what has happened? I know, right? No longer a homeowner. Hopefully an owl will come and tell me what went down. And he'll be wearing a tiny vest. Oh, I can tell you what happened. Thank God. What? This is our boy Cedric. I know about Cedric, he's great. Holly loves Cedric, of course. Oh, I know what happened to your castle. I saw it all, yes I did. <laughs> <laughs> well then, what happened? Oh, he's adorable. Oh, it was the powerful and evil wizard Mordak who did it. Oh, I just happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Well, don't stop now. Go on. <laughs> Keep talking, bitch. God. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the sky and out of sight. Oh, it was something to see, all right. Oh, oh God. God, he's adorable. I he's just want to so hold him. You, Jesus. Why? He's like a beanie Why baby. Would this wizard, Mordak, <laughs> want my castle. What could he have against me and my family? God, I'm gesturing <laughs> like an Italian <laughs> man over here. Oh, I only know that it was Mordak who took your castle and your family. Booyah! <laughs> it just looked like he was making that hand motion. Yeah, like the booyah ka to be a wizard, which is why I recognized Mordak. Ooh, unlike Mordak, though, my employer is a very good wizard. His name is Crispin Arthur, but we all call him Crispin for short. Oh, Crispin? Crispin. Is, you see... <laughs> what? All right. How does an owl fall off a tree? He's a very clumsy owl. If he yeah, flipped like, his wings like that, he would have flown. I know. But no, oh, he's fine. There we go. He's fine. He's fine. But he probably scuffed up that gorgeous sweater vest of his. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing. <clears throat> what a kerfuffle. Anyway, oh, where was I? <laughs> oh, yes. The only problem is that Crispin is getting on in years and tends to be a bit forgetful. He has Alzheimer's. My master's it's straight up dying. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> Crispin is a very qualified wizard. One of the best. He just gets a little forgetful now and again. That's okay. All. So, for the mm -hmm. sake of time, now, we're going to skip the rest of this oh, because he basically has said all the information we need to know. Oh, okay. Um, How did we get here? We are now at Crispin's house. So, we're going to walk on inside and say hello to him real quick. Oops. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, look. 
Don't be it's wasting Santa Claus. your time coming it's in not. here. Young man, I've oh. done all I can for you. Now Whoops. You. <laughs> Embarrassing. Text from my mom. Sorry. Well, anyway, I'm not going to be here for a little while. There's an emergency I have to attend to in a neighboring land. I'll try to keep an eye out for you, but this is something you and Cedric are going to have to do yourselves. I wish you the best, King Graham. Thanks, he's, man. He's checking his list. I appreciate he's checking it all twice. you've done, Crispin. <laughs> I'll be on my way now. All right. He looks like a really bad Santa Claus. I know. He's like Druid Santa like if, Claus. No, but like if you mix death and Santa Claus. Right. It'd, it'd be a downer. Mm. Let's see. He gave us something. He gave us a magic wand, I believe. The old wand doesn't seem to have any vitality left in it. Okay, so he gave us a useless wand. Thanks, you old dick. Wait, so the one needs to be charged with magic powers. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Where do we do that? So that magic wand, the only thing that magic wand is lacking is magic. Let's take a look around. This is a beautiful scene. Nope, guess we can't look around. But there's Cedric. Oh, hey, Cedric. Intentionally, Cedric waits for Graham. Okay. King Graham, heavy of heart, searches far and wide for his beloved family, who've been stolen by the evil wizard Mordak. Oh, too bad, so sad. Can you lick things? I, we cannot lick things. What? I know. This is not Leisure Street Larry. I'm sorry. What kind of Sierra game doesn't let you lick things? Uh, pretty much all of them, except for Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, and Space Quest. Space Quest, sorry. Oh, they're the only two I've played. Yeah, that's true. The only thing I knew about this game about was Graham, what oh, this guy. A poison! Yes! That was the only thing I knew about this a game. Poison, a poison! A snake! I used to always... We have a friend called Graham, so I used to... Oh, I always say that to him, even though he's never played this game. Right. I'm just like, Graham, watch out! <laughs> a large, venomous snake blocks Graham's passage to the east. Okay. So, basically, uh, we are just walking through this forest, and, uh... There's much to be done. We don't know what we can do to find Mordak. We don't know where we need to go to save our family. Did you try the yellow pages? We just... that the What? Do you have them here? Oh, hold on. There's a crying guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. And the bird having a bird bath. You know what? Before we do anything, yeah. it's time to save. <gasps> oh, oh! I know. Ooh, ooh. I know, Ross. I know. Okay. So you probably want to just say something like, here we are at the beginning. Don't cry, guy. Okay, Ross, you're so happy to do these. Let's talk to this guy, see, what, see what's up. Uh, excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you sitting there on that log. Like a pussy. I was wondering if there was anything wrong. Bitch. Why, yes. As a matter of fact, there is. My cowlick. I've been and he's a ventriloquist. for my fiance. <laughs> She's a beautiful princess with long golden tresses, fetching blue eyes, Whoa. and smooth creamy oh, there you skin. Go. Have you seen her anywhere about? No, sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Do they just hire family That's and friends what I to do the voices? Yeah. No oh, yeah. one's hmm. seen her. I bet that a witch who lives in the dark forest had something to do with her disappearance. I'll keep an eye out for her. If I see her, I'll let her know you're looking for her. I would appreciate that. Well, I guess I'd better get back to looking for her. Yes, yeah. I guess I'd better go back to looking for her. By looking for her, do you mean crying <laughs> on a rock? What a weenie puss. <laughs> you candy ass. All right, so, ah, uh, it's a little bluebird. What a wonderful bluebird. <laughs> it could almost make Graham happy again if it wasn't for his family. What? Oh, yeah. Jesus, what a downer. What a downer. What a gorgeous bluebird. It would almost make me happy if I could feel happiness. Oh my god, he's, he's really depressed. Oh dude, his whole fucking family's gone. I didn't even realize he had one. Alright, so picture this if you will. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, there's going to be a lot of exposition in these early, mm -hmm. uh, in these early episodes because the way King's Quests generally work were, um, look at this nice little town. You, um... You walk to uh, different places and find, like, all these little quests that you have to help people with. Yeah, uh huh And then, like, you help them throughout the game. Through your oh, right. You're going into town. I'll just wait for you here. I had an nasty run-in with a big dog one, and I... Oh, my God. Save it, Cedric. What a yes, weenie. Sorry. Sorry. So, um... Was, what, what? Listen to this fucking town. It's crunking. Look how fucking fast those guys are running, Woo! but not really. 
They like look like they're having seizures while running. How goes it with you, good fellow? It's remarkable. Not well, I'm afraid. This old wagon's always giving me trouble. Can I help you in any way? Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. Do they know he's the king? Alright then. Good no. luck. He Thanks. With this wagon, I'm gonna need it. He, he just walks among the common people. And people don't notice that he's the king? I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. Okay. Cause that's, I'm down with that. Yeah, it's... Turning it down, that is. Pretty loud. Okay, play. Play. Uh, let's, let's go all up on in here. What's that say? The sign. Uh, bleh. <laughs> But what is it? I don't know. We'll find is out. Is it an inn? Oh, no, it's a tailor shop. Oh, look at that guy's nips. Easy, bro. Can I help you, sir? God, everyone has, like, the flip around here with their hair. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm interested in buying something here. Ah, let me show you some things. Looks like that person has a mouthful of water. Yeah. They're just going... I could make you beautiful shirts. There isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. With this, I could make you the finest trousers you've ever had. Trousers? Yeah. Well, what do you think? Well, right now I'm just looking. Thanks, then. <laughs> Back off. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, I'm just here to help. I'm going for the hard was sell. It, was it um the in the UK they call pants pants or underpants? I don't know. And then in it like if you say like oh I'm wearing pants, right it means you're Let wearing me help you with undies. That. Dude, I'm not even sure if this is a man or a woman that we're talking yeah, to. Yeah, I was so. a little bit, I didn't want to say anything. Perfectly. It just looks wonderful on you. <laughs> Thank you, sir, ma'am. Let me tell you, it will certainly keep you toasty warm during the coming winter. Toasty warm? Is anyone going to do anything Let about the naked man? No, he's fine. I wish my head wasn't right there. Okay, mm. I, I can't afford this, I don't think. It's a fine cloak. It could be very useful to a traveler like yourself. Did you leave your wealth in your castle? Yeah, I... Oops. Yeah. Well, shit, man, I was only going out for a stroll. Could you use your ATM card? Yeah, there are those... Could you call your bank? <laughs> uh, so, okay. Oh. What's that kid running in front? Oh, he's playing that little tiddlywink game. Hang on. With the wheel and the stick. Do you see a little glinty thing? Yeah, what is this? No, what is that? Graham notices a shiny silver coin lying for... <gasps> the We're the rich! Line. Give it to me. Oh my god. Bending down, Graham quickly retrieves the silver coin from the street. Yeah, nice. All right, let's see. So how much is that? Is that like that a is coin? Is that like worth like a shitload of money? It's one silver coin. Okay. <laughs> is that like 50 cents? <laughs> Something, I don't know. Uh. Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old rotting fish. Great. Ross, let's take a That's fish. That's a common tender in this land. Yeah. Graham leans way down into the barrel and removes, phew, the smelly old fish. God, Nailed he's it. describing it like a dick in a romance novel. Oh, man. So we have, uh, like, a nickel and a fish. And a wand with no magic. Yeah, this sounds like a Sierra game. Yeah, I'd say we're off to a great start. And if you can MacGyver those things together, you get... Fish coin. Club. One. Yeah, on a stick. <laughs> you get fish fingers! Yay! Hooray! All right, see you next time. I'm glad we're doing this little adventure together. Me too. See you tomorrow. Bye. I love you.